Hi guys, I keep getting a request to make a rubber band powered train. Now I made one quite a long time ago and I'll put a link in the video description so you can see it. But I was going through my wooden kits that I've got ready for the grandchildren to make when they come and visit and I've got two of these which are wooden trains and I was looking at it and I thought I wonder if I can convert that to rubber band power. It's not going to be very big, it's only a small kit. I mean that's the length of the body so the back wheels will be there, there's another wheel about there somewhere and another wheel there and there plywood wheels so they're going to have very little grip. The length of the rubber band is going to be very short so it's not going to have much power, it's not going to go very far. Wooden wheels I've already said don't grip very well so there's lots of reasons for not doing this but on the other hand it might just be a bit of fun to do. Now if we want these wheels to be wheels rather than just glued in place and fixed. We don't want these slots in them. We actually want to glue them in place and then cut the wheels out so they're normal circles. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to squeeze some glue into there and let it set and then cut the wheels out and drill holes in the middle so we can put axles through them, probably barbecue skewers, something like that. So that will be the first thing, a bit of glue. And I'll just rub it in and hope that seals them in place. So we'll come back in a few hours, so that's dried off properly, and then cut them out. Thinking about it, I could just set that to one side and I could build the rest of it anyway. That'll do for now. We'll let the glue dry properly on these wheels. 
then I'll cut them out as proper circles, drill holes in the middle, and sort out some way of attaching a rubber band to them. Still waiting for those wheels to dry or the glue, so we'll get on with painting it. There's never enough paint in these tiny little pots, so what I do is I make them very wet, or dilute them, I suppose is the other way to put it, and then spread it. pre-painted the wheels before I pushed them out of the um, whatever we want to call it <laughs> the pattern and I pre-drilled them as well I marked the centers and drilled them so they're just the right size for this barbecue skewer I've got some drinking straw or a drinking straw which I will glue across the bottom for the axle tubes. The back one will just be little stub tubes so that we've got space in the middle to wind up the rubber band. That's the drinking straw hot glued in place. So we've got two straight through axles and two stub axle tubes so we can connect the rubber band in the middle. All up together. I've put a bit of cotton round the front there to hold the rubber band. I've just tied the cotton right the way round the train there so that I've got something to attach the rubber band to. At the back we've got a 9 volt battery and some blue tack to add some weight because these wheels are so small they've got no grip at all. So we could either try putting rubber tyres on them or uh, adding weight. All I'm doing here is just wrapping the rubber band around the axle so that it goes over itself and holds itself in place. So we can then wind it up. Oh, just knocked one of the wheels off, that wasn't very good. I wonder if I can push that back on without having to let the rubber band go. Right. I don't expect it to go very far because it's only a small rubber band. nearly dropped off the end of the table but not quite. Let's see if we can go up the table. find you get more turns on if you actually stretch the rubber band as you're putting it on. OK. 
Okay, let's see how far we go this time. Eh, not too bad. I think that'll do. We have a rubber band powered train made from one of those clipped together kits.